What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be finally installing the ProRam induction kit into the Audi A3. We already have our turbo inlet installed, so I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get straight into this. So, as you can see, we already have our turbo inlet pipe, our silicon turbo inlet pipe from Darkside fully installed. If you want to know how to install this, then check out the previous video because we do actually do a full video on how to install this because you really need to do that before we move on to actually installing this bit. So for the actual induction kit itself, the first thing we're going to need to do is get this math sensor section off of the top of the airbox. And to do that, it's just this screw here. And I think there's another screw down the bottom here and I believe they're T25 so that's the first thing we're going to do uh, because this MAF housing actually has to sit inside here so we're going to go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and crack on with the heat shield while we are trying to get the MAF sensor off of the airbox I'm going to start to put the heat shield together so it's all ready for the next step So, heat shield is done. I went through step one to four, is what it looks like now. So, first step, I attached the brackets on the outside of the heat shield. And then, after that, the next step is to put the rubber mounts in, so it clicks into the mounts inside of the engine bay. And then after that, you put the rubber seal around the outside, and then the hole for the hose that slides through. So when a hood closes, it seals around this and it doesn't let any heat enter into the air filter. So, bosh. Okay, so now that Ben has this done and I have the MAF sensor housing removed, I actually un unclipped the, the MAF sensor plug from this and then I could just basically wiggle this free of the top of the airbox housing. So you have this whole unit. Now this needs to be attached to our heat shield and luckily for us the lads at dark side have this bracket that is prefabbed with the holes in the correct place so all we're going to do is push this in and then the two bolt holes that are on either side of this are going to go through these two bolt holes here with the supplied fixings also you see when you take the math sensor out oh god if it will focus see there the arrow for airflow see here you have to make sure that the airflow obviously is going towards the turbo. So, in which case it's going to be going in this way. So the airflow arrow is pointing this way. And you're going to stick this in here. The clue with that is the holes won't line up if you put it in the wrong way. So, that's kind of another different way to know. Holes line up perfectly. We're just going to put in the supplied fixings, which is literally nuts and bolts. And then we'll be ready for the next step. Okay, so as you can see, the MAF sensor housing is attached to our heat shield. So next thing I'm gonna do is basically install the silicon into the heat shield. I have these two hose clamps already pre-installed onto here. This hose has a connection here for our vacuum line and Darkside actually supply you with this little yoke so that the hose can actually have something to attach onto which is excellent i'm gonna leave that for a minute so we're gonna put this through the gap this way and we're gonna try feed it on to our math sensor so as ben just said this bracket at the back has a bit of give so what you want to do is put the pipe all the way through the silicon pipe all the way through the hole so that it has a bit of maneuverability pull this bracket back and then push silicon round and then you'll be able to get that on 
So we're just going to work it on as you would normally try and envision this being in here and what angle you're going to need the pipe to be at once it's sat in. Wiggle the pipe on. We are in business. This is going to sit in like this. I think that's a, an okay angle because don't forget once the filter is on here it needs to not be touching or contacting off of anything so you want to make sure that this hose is orientated in such a way that it's not going to be like pointing upwards else when you shut the hood the hood's going to bang off the filter so keep that in mind when you're installing this pipe we have our hose clamps already on this is a seven mil bolt again these were supplied by dark side which is handy so we're gonna get these on tighten her up and then uh, move on to the next step <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay so this is all together now before i go putting in anything else we want to get this attached into the engine bay and our other side of the MAF housing attached onto the turbo inlet pipe so as you can see down here, if the camera will focus, we have one, two, three mounting points, which is one, one, two, three mounting points. So we're gonna see, can we try and get these affixed to that? And at the same time, get this into here. What we're gonna probably do, as Ben just rightly said, our turbo inlet pipe has a bit of give and play in it. So we're gonna try and thread this down into here first so we can get the heat shield installed and then try and work on our turbo inlet pipe just make sure that no wires or anything get uh, wildly stuck try and get the contact points in so we have one just here one now I'm at the point where I can't go any further back onto these two back mounting points until this is on. So we're gonna slide this on, push down, and you'll just feel when it clicks in. And also it, there's a cut out here for the cables for the battery. So make sure that the this, this cables aren't getting pinched at the back of the heat shield itself. Ben the electrician always looking after the wires. <laughs> so now, we have this clipped in, when you push down you'll feel it just kind of go thud and you'll be able to know when it's clipped in, like that's not going anywhere. All our wires are kind of tucked out the way nicely which is fine. Now what we can do, because this was already disconnected, we can plug our MAF sensor back in, make sure that pin is back down. Now we can reattach our vacuum line as well, so we have this little piece from dark side which is lovely. So this is just going to push in to our silicone like that and then our standard hose is able to reattach. Like so. Now the part everyone's been waiting for, the actual filter itself. So this is our ProRam performance air filter. This whole kit is from Darkseid, but it's a Pro Ram kit, like it's a Ram Air kit. So it's a Ram Air Pro air filter. It's actually a pleated filter rather than the foam ones that I previously, that I actually was running on my two previous Audis, the A4s. I had the foam style ones. This is actually the pleated one. So here she is. lovely i love how it's blacked out as well like even on the ends like just looks sick so this is actually an 89 89 mil bore filter which is insane and all we're going to do with this is it's going to go straight into our silicon so this entire kit includes filter silicon from the filter to the MAF housing and this aluminium powder coated heat shield. Then you will need to buy a turbo inlet pipe separate if you want to run that. You can run this intake kit without 
buying the turbo inlet pipe however I do recommend doing both at the same time because if you go to do the turbo inlet pipe later down the line you're gonna have to take all of this back out to get to that and we know all about taking things out more than once don't mm -hmm. we ben? that's happened a lot <laughs> right <laughs> okay so after we have our math sensor plugged back in we have the vacuum line on with our little tip in here as ben has correctly just absolutely destroyed me with because i didn't have a clue what this was for but this little short piece of uh, aluminium pipe these two both the silicon and the air filter are very big bore holes right so in order like this can't just fit inside that so that's why we have two different hose clips now this little piece of pipe is going to go inside here about halfway so i'm going to clamp this down first and then the filter is going to go around that and that's what the second hose clamp is for so i'm going to tighten this up first just so that this pipe doesn't move in any further when we go to attach the air filter make sure my ratchet is on the correct way else i'm going to look like an idiot so i'm going to tighten this up and then we're going to stick the filter on this hose clamp is good and tight now that was a seven mil socket the hose clamp on the air filter is an eight mil socket so i have the eight mil on here now now i'm ocd as ah! so this ram air lettering is going to go at the bottom and this pro ram lettering is going to be at the top on the center and all we're going to do here is slide this onto the short bit of aluminium pipe i'm going to make sure that is lined up because again ocd that's grand and we want to make sure again just to reiterate that nothing is contacting the filter on any sides which it's not that's good you want to make sure this is snug all the way up to the silicone so there's no gap in between here and uh, then what we do is tighten up the hose clamp and then we'll be ready to tighten up this hose clamp and then we'll be done we're ready for a sound test let's go to do well uh nothing <laughs> <laughs> he was about to start the car and he was like oh wait i forgot there yeah so i didn't forget did i i remembered <laughs> i didn't start the car and blow the hose off uh... now okay so this is it all fully in everything fully reinstalled we have our lines on everything's good everything's tight we've checked all the hose clamps are definitely tight all the bolts are tight so there's only one thing left to do isn't it start her up exactly I'm just going to, if you come with me, we're just going to check that there's no uh, error codes that come up first. I've installed something wrong or some sensor is missing. The ignition. No, no error codes, so we should be good. Ben, do you want to go around the front and I'll start her off? Way better than the stuff. Way better. Way better. Hundred percent. Looks nice as well. Looks way better than that. Way better than that. Happy Larry. <laughs> Save my cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it. That's the end of the video. That's the full install. If you did miss how we actually got to the starting point of this, don't forget to go back and watch the previous video of how we installed the turbo inlet pipe and we show you 
basically explain, go through how to take everything out. If you've been watching this build from the beginning, I've already done that at least twice. So you should really know how to do it at this point. But if you don't, go back and check out the previous videos. And uh, if this video did help you install one of these kits for your own car, please drop us a like. It really helps out the channel. And uh, I have coilovers on the way, don't forget. And I'm after picking up a jack today. I'm after picking up jack stands, a coil compressor. So me and Ben are actually going to attempt to do this ourselves, which is going to be hilarious. So you're not going to want to miss that. Make sure you go down there, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you ding the little notification bell so you get notified when we do upload that video. Ben, what are we saying about the noise that's coming out of this thing now? Yeah, it's unreal. I really right. like it. Yeah. We're actually about to go and get Domino's, so we're going to be able to road test this and see what it sounds like on the road. So we might get a few clips for you after that, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Turbo noise.